Alright, holy shit guys, it is actually going to happen. It's been a long journey and it's going to end very soon. I will be able to make overloads any second now. We do get the Sliskillion experience lamp, let's do this shit, let's put it on Herblore. And we are going to hit 91 Herblore. And that is the level I needed to boost to overloads, look at this. And I can make extreme magics without boost now, also effigy shit or whatever. Well that is absolutely amazing. Oh, I can clean my fell stocks as well. Oh my god, man, this is the best sight in the last year, dude. I'm making overloads on my Iron Man, and I think that's actually all the ones that I can make for now. Let's see if I have an extreme ranging slab. No, I don't. And the reason why I can only make, what is it, 92 of these, which I will turn into four of those, is because, well, I mean, it's this is going to last a bit, you know. It's not like it's going to be a, over in, like, two days or something. Uh, but the reason is because I don't have that many extreme ranging, and I can't really get that many. I cannot Poyas or whatever they're called and then you know use the papaya uh, not the the raw poya meat from that and then go to grand walls and hunt that way and get a decent amount it just takes quite a lot of time to do that and it's quite annoying but that's what i'm going to have to do in the future when i want more of these anyway so i'm going to decan these quickly and let's get 60 Every single time it has to be 69. I don't understand if you've been watching my series for a while now You do know that every single time I do something it just has to end up on 69 I don't I don't understand it sweet We now have a bunch of these shells and I can make some uh, tortoise pouches so I can start doing a raxor so let's do this shit. Oh my god guys Ho Holy shit, it's done 9 and 43 minutes. Now that is not very good, but honestly, I'm very happy. The the just the pure fact that I can kill this now. And yeah, I know I do have a Carol's Coif and a Berserker Ring and like War Priest Gauntlets. I need to swap those out with either like Armadil or maybe possibly, you know, the Dormant Gear, which is my body and my legs, that type of gear. But for now, I'm really happy with this. I did fill my whole uh, War Toy Toys with only K-Fish. And then I only brought five brews and I still have three of them. So I guess I could tone down on that a bit. But I do actually have a lot of brews. So I don't really feel like I need to. But I'm very happy with this. The first kill is now down. Let's see what the first loot is. This is really cool. Hopefully I don't get 600 U-Logs. But I'm going to take it even if I do. Oh, we get to... Oh my god, this is actually so good. Two Cyrenic Scales. Wait, I might actually have the amount to make this Cyrenic Helm now. Now, I'm not gonna do that yet because I... I don't know. I don't want to make... Actually, I could do that, but I need 90 defense to be able to equip that. And, you know, maybe I should go for that. You guys have been telling me for a long time, but I'm 500... Uh, 500,000 experience... Uh, 500,000 experience of 99 ranged, so maybe I want to get that first with range, but maybe if I, you know... I don't know. We will have to see, but I might make a Cyrenic Mask... But dude, this is really good. These Aradomi flasks is awesome as well. I am actually thoroughly confused right now. By the way, this is the second kill, and I still had to watch the cinematic where Araxi, like, body slams Araxor. I thought I would be removed after your first kill. That's at least my impression of it. Maybe I have to turn it off somehow. But, yeah, I'll have to look into that. But this is the second kill. Let's see what I get for this one. Uh, please put something good. Actually, Lanta Dimes is not too bad. I mean, that's some Herblore experience. Getting closer to actually 96, so I don't have to boost anymore, but... I mean, the Saradome Bruce is absolutely the best thing. I would love to get Saradome Bruce every single drop because they're just so good. Oh, sweet, a new record kill, but I still get the cinematics, so I guess I need to turn it off somewhere, but I also completed a Reaper assignment. Honestly, I didn't even know I had a Reaper assignment of Araxor, but I think that's three kills, I assume. Well, I've done three kills, so it has to be three kills, so it's not extended, but I guess that's nice, ten Reaper points extra, you know, while doing what I want to do anyway, so let's search the body and see what we get. And we get some herbs again. Actually, this is... Dude, I'm getting so many Saradomin brews. Like... Saradome brews every single drop, but Avantos and Dwarfweeds, that is actually, is, it, both of them are used for extremes. So I'll bag that right away. Now this is so weird. This time I did not have the cinematic, but I didn't do anything. I didn't turn anything off. I don't know, Jagex is just weird sometimes. But anyways, it's all something that's also weird. I keep getting faster kills even though it's higher in rage. I think it at 60. What the hell are these arrows doing here? Well, the bolts, they're in the air. Alright. Guardian Levios on that. Um, but anyways, I keep getting faster kills even though it's higher in rage. This is currently 61% in rage. Let's see what we get from this one. 
Alright, so this is the worst loot so far. Runite ore and some rock tails. Now, the thing is, these Araxite arrows is actually not too bad, because if I do get a tier 90 bow in the future, I do need these arrows. Um, so, I don't know man, do I ever reroll these? I don't think I do, I mean, all the loot is better than a pet, I think, on an Iron Man, anything really, so I'll, I'll keep it. Alright, so it's actually been daily reset, and that included a change of paths, so it was 2 and 3 before, aka the acid and the shadow one, the darkness one, uh, but now it's instead the acid one blocked, so now it's path 1 and 3, and that is a bit more annoying, but I'm going to do the path 1 with the spider minions, and that does take quite a lot of more food, like the minions overall just drains more of my food, but that's fine, I can do the kills without too much of an issue, but anyways, uh, I did also die the first try I did, and that was not because I failed, it was because a huge ass spider in real life, while doing a rack, so it's quite funny, literally came down from the roof straight onto my keyboard and I freaked the fuck out. But anyways, let's open the, well, let's just loot the body and see what we get. And we get some standard loot, runite ore, but actually in the future if I do get higher uh, smithing, I'll probably make those into some rune items and alloc them. So I guess that's decent. Anyways, that is the second kill of the same path, and by the way, I was thinking about maybe possibly doing some Kriara. I mean, now that I do have overloads and I have like soul split and uh, anguish, I should be able to stay there for quite a while and actually do like a bunch of kills per trip instead of doing like 7 or 8. So that could be a good thing because I would, you know, love to get the armadillo gloves or maybe the armadillo helmet or something like that. So that would be really cool. But let's search this body and see what we get. Alright, this is awful. This is probably the worst thing I could get. Actually, how much do these alloc for? I think these alloc for like 6k. I can't check now. Actually, if I do this, I'm going to take them and I'm going to bank this. So let's see how much they're worth. Yeah, 6k each. So that is actually 240k. So that's, I guess that's decent after all. So I think that's going to do it for Araxor for now. I might get back to Araxor later in this video. I don't have no idea honestly, but my sharpshooter aura, my second sharpshooter aura just ran out. So let's see what the loot is from this one. Please give me something good. And it's not very good, but the Saradomi flasks are great. I'm actually more on... I've gained more Saradomi flasks than I've used, so that is awesome. So as I said, I wanted to do some Criara, and I've been here for a while now, and actually 15-16 minutes, and I get my first drop, which is an effigy. That is 5,000 experience, or maybe I can actually do some of the steps, we will have to see, I can't really shake it now that I'm in combat. Actually, I can do it now. Good timing, let's see if I can do any of these steps, and I cannot, but that is 5k experience I can claim at least from that. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it in, but maybe Divination or something. Well, that just happened, I actually did not even track that. 99 ranged and now you guys will actually be happy because from now on I will put all my ranged experience into defense So that's going to be beneficial for the account I guess but uh, yeah, that's another 99 down I'll get the cape off this trip. All right, there we go now. I bought the cape Let's just quickly remove my overrides. I have a backpack. I think this looks pretty cool I like the backpack honestly, but let's see what the uh, I mean everyone has seen this. Let's be real But it's still cool celebration times another 99 down uh, no combat level though, I think the combat levels that I miss is from 99 prayer and 99 summoning, so not there. Alright, there we go, that's the ranged cape, it looks pretty sexy, I mean, it's a skill cape. Everyone has seen this a million times, but you just gotta equip it each time, dude. Well, this is fairly interesting, I guess, I just hit 84 defense and that actually gave me a combat level, so it's not only prayer and summoning. So I guess, oh, Manta Rays, I'm going to pick those up, but um, yeah, so I guess when I do get 99 defense, I'm going to gain at least a few combat levels, maybe one, two, I don't know how many exactly, but I guess at least a bit of them is going to be from prayer and summoning. Wow, this is the third trip I'm doing on Kriara, and I get the weirdest drop, look at this, I get armadillo boots, which obviously isn't very good because I already have them, so that kind of sucked that, you know, that's the first item that I get, except the ones that I do have. Uh, but I also got an elite clue scroll on the exact same drop. I don't know if I've had that before, like an actual drop with a clue scroll. Interesting. Alright, let's see if we can get anything good from this elite clue scroll, and that is uh, 331k. Nothing interesting really, let's get on with the video, there's nothing to talk about here. By the way, I thought we did- never mind, 
I, I, I got brain freeze. I thought I had done 69 elites already, but that was on my main account, messing up things, dude. I think the only thing I'm going to say about this clip is that, sure, I got an effigy, but look at this keepsake. Darkbow keepsake? Very much sexy. Man, is this going to be like Krill, where I get like all the items that I actually do not need, and I'm going to get a bunch of them? I mean, Armadillo Buckler, it's actually worth a lot when you would play on a main account, uh, because of the components. Like, now it's like 28k Alk on my Iron Man, but I think it's like 2 mil on a main account. But like, do I use this for future invention? Because I think that's literally the only use for it, so... I guess I'll just keep it in the bank. I'm literally just farming these defense levels, man. It's so quick when I'm doing Criara, you know, and I can actually stay here for a whole hour. Look at this aura. It's 11 minutes left, and I still have a bunch of rock tails. It's so good. Uh, but when I do hit 90 defense, I think... I. By the way, I said earlier, I think I have the Sarenic skills to make a Sirenic mask. I don't. I have 10, and I need 14. I didn't really know how many you needed. But if I get 4 more, I can make that helmet, and I can use it if I do have 90 defense. So that would be... Sick as hell. I mean, I'll take the experience, man. I'm getting so many effigies. Actually, what should I put the experience in? It's 5,000 experience, but I really don't need to put it in herb lore anymore, so I might as well maybe just put it in farming, because, you know, I really do want to get to 74, so I can get those Mushella Mushrooms to make uh, prayer re renewal potions. I don't know, farming is just a skill I really hate, and it would probably be nice to get 5k experience in that for each effigy. It's actually really fun to do a reaction now on my Iron Man that I can finally do it, you know, it's a bit of different pace in PVMing, now I actually have to try and I can't just AFK stuff, but anyways, let's see what I get from this body. And we get some herbs, alright, that's decent. I actually don't have that many super store flasks in my bank, so that's pretty good. Alright, there we have the second kill, and I really do want the onyx drop. Like, I'd, I'd probably take an onyx drop over the spider leg piece right now, because an onyx drop is two onyxes, and that's amulet of souls, and death touch bracelet, or maybe if I want to make a reaper necklace instead, we will have to see, but it will be amazing if I would get an onyx drop. Let's see what I get from this one. Alright, more Hydrix Ball tips, that's 250k alt right there. Alright, we have another kill, let's see how many kill count I overall have, by the way, I think it's 8 or 9. Oh, we have 10 already, wow, I've been doing a lot of Arax or that. Even though it might not seem a lot, that's actually quite a lot. So, let's search the body and see what we get. Alright. Well, I'm going to take that. Just no more comments. I have three minutes left on my aura, so I guess this is going to be the last kill for now. Let's see what we get for this one. And we get... Oh my god. This is probably the worst job I've had so far. Actually, this is summoning material, so I'll probably just bank it. And I was looking through my bank and I realized, holy shit, I do have a hard clue just laying around here. And I was wondering when I was doing Criara, you know, getting the 40 kill count, and as well as killing Criara for like three hours overall. I was wondering why I wouldn't get any hard clues, but now I do understand. So let's see what we get from this one. And we get a bunch of, uh, well, actually, this is not too bad. It's some Alkyballs, I'll definitely take this one. As I had a Reaper assignment of some Helver kills, I was like, I'm actually going to try to solo this now that I do have overloads. And I've actually done four kills in one trip, which is really good. But look at the amount of Lanta Dimes you get each drop. 93, I just got 93 Lanta Dimes. Like, I think the range is like 80 to 100 each time you get a Lanta Dime drop. That is some insane Herbler experience. Anyways, that is the Helver Reaper assignment completed for 11 Reaper points. I've done 14 Helver kills. Honestly, I think this is the most boring boss of all the God Wars 2 bosses. Maybe I would say that Greg Rovic is a bit worse, but we will have to see. I have 161 Reaper points currently, so I have like pretty much halfway to the third Hydrix, which is not that bad. I'm going to do some rune crafting now. I kind of want to hit 75. I'm probably not going to do it in one sitting. Maybe. I don't know. We will have to see. But this is going to be the end of this video. I just want to say most of the time I just wait. Like I tried to do something like Criara, you know, which I did in this video quite a lot. I did three hours of Criara. Then I did, you know, the Hylvir Reaper assignment. But I'm mostly just waiting for Arax or Reset because I do one sharpshooter aura. Maybe sometimes I do a bit more than that. Uh, but most of the time I just try to do one sharpshooter aura and then after that I'm pretty much at the enrage which I can't really get further than because I reached like 100% enrage and at that point it's actually quite difficult for me to get the kills reliably so I haven't really died yet but it's like the last kills are always when I have pretty much no more supplies. So, with my current gear, I just try to do one shower shooter aura per day, and then I just wait for a reset, and during that time, I'm not really sure what to do, but that's what I'm pretty much what I'm going to do for the next videos, I would assume. I'm trying to get that armadillo helmet, or maybe I should 
Maybe I should actually just go to Ascension Creatures, camp those for keys, do legions, and then actually use those uh, Sirenic scales that I get overall to make the Sirenic gear. That could be fun. Also, I do need the kills, keys if I want to try to get the Ascension crossbows. I already have two signets, so it could be a viable choice. Uh, but this is going to be the end of this video. I do th sincerely hope you guys did enjoy this. I'm getting really close to 6k subscribers, which is crazy, dude. That For RS3, that's actually really good, and I, I, I'm really happy with happy with that and I hope I can provide so much uh, more quality content in my eyes uh, you know I hope you guys do enjoy these videos and uh, I'll see you in the next one guys please take care and have a good day